Alright, it's time for a little recap here, and then you can be on your way to succeeding with the local business marketing. Just want to um, recap everything how to find your clients, go through the newspaper, look for all the um, ads of the local businesses that don't have the websites, make a list of those. Then make your other list of the ones with websites because you can always approach them to redo their websites, to optimize their websites, to increase the traffic to their websites. And you're also going to want to add them to your directory. And the thing about the directory is you offer them the free month in there, or even if, say three months free. Let them see some good results from it and then charge them, I don't know. Maybe fifty bucks a year, hundred bucks a year, or whatever you want, twenty bucks a month for inclusion in there. Make sure they see some results though, and they're gonna want to do it. Then um, showing you how to build professional-looking sites with the WordPress system, and how to edit them and take them from a blog appearance to a looking like a professional business site. And then we went over how to include the business in the Google Local Business Center. Then we went over how to um, get a lot of traffic from the social networks in the MySpace. Kind of showed you how to build a directory with the WordPress. And finally told you how to develop it into a recurring income rather than just one time shots in the uh, PDF that came with this is going to be a few resources for you make sure to check that out um, has some good um, sites for WordPress themes the link to the Google local business center a um, bunch of other stuff links to some um, informative sites on basic SEO like the SEO part of it, optimizing a site, you're just gonna use the H1 tag for your keywords. Put the keywords in the first paragraph. Put the keyword in the towards the end of the um, document, and then pretty much you're optimized. And then just optimize the inbound links that you're getting. But other than that, you're not gonna need a lot of whole search engine optimization to compete for the terms that you're gonna want to in the local searches. So give you a couple links to some basic SEO but other than that you've got really everything you need to know and there's no excuses now so take what you've learned practice build some play around with WordPress practice installing new themes and editing them and get 10 to 20 good themes to give people as choices for their sites or then you can even charge them if they want a custom one done ask them have them tell you what they want and then um, even go on WordForm or go on Elance or whatever and pay a custom web designer or freelancer ask them what they charge you and then up the price a little bit make a little money off them and they'll get a professional website done by a professional designer so I mean if they want a sophisticated website you don't have to say no you can always outsource that so just keep that in mind and um, that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed the uh, series. Hope you've learned it. everything you need to know, which I believe you have. And now it's up to you to go out there and get yourself some clients and get going with this. No more excuses.